Hey guys, what's happening? Millrick77 here out in my garage, garage, garage. Uh, getting ready to start working on another project here. I'm gonna, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, start sanding on this fucking Mercedes. It's a CLS 500. Uh, uh, 05. Wow. When you pull the door in, the window goes down. And, uh, I believe gas went out of the shock to make the car lower, easier to get in. And then when you start it, she must pump back up. Woohoo! But, uh, that's what it is, an 05 CLS 500, or whatever the fuck it was. Just another piece of shit. CLS 500, yep. That is a nice car. Fucking right it is. You need to spend that much money on a fucking car? Fuck no. But, as you can tell, it's chipped to fuck. The whole hood has just got massive chips in it. And, uh, there's a little dinger on that one right there. Mm, you're never going to pick it up. It's like a little hail dent or something right there. We're going to fill that in. This hood's been painted before. And, uh, I don't know. This camera will not pick it. Oh, there it will. In the light. You see all those little dots right there? They are, um, they are bubbles in the clear. Uh, water that's what that is that's water in the clear coat when they were spraying it it's all over uh, if you look right here you can see da scratches there's a da scratch there from when they sanded it and buffed it uh it's all faded right here you can see all the wet sand marks um he said this hood was painted by a very big actually the biggest collision center um here in Lycoming County, uh, no names, but they do everything, Chrysler, BMW, Mercedes, Jeep, I mean, it's a humongous dealership, they have one dealership for every make and model of a car, and this is the one body shop that all those dealerships and people who buy their cars from use, and that's who painted this hood, um, I mean, if you look in the, it's hard to tell here inside, but if you look at, like, the orange peel from the fender to the hood, I mean, the hood looks pretty good, but I'm just saying, you can see all the DA marks in the clear coat from where they sanded it with the DA before they buffed it, and uh, you can see all those little bubbles, <clears throat> which is definitely water in the clear. I mean, it's everywhere, but uh, yeah, we're going to be sanding down and refinishing this hood. And the uh, bumper cover as well. I'm going to rip the bumper cover off right now. <clears throat> and uh, go over it. Probably with some 220 or 180. The whole thing. And then the whole bumper cover is going to get primed. And blocked down. And repainted. Which means i got to strip it apart and take all the lights off and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I think we're also redoing the silver on the grill. Um, whoever did it last time <clears throat> didn't uh, prepare it very well and it chipped off there, there, there. So I guess we're redoing that. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to get uh, this bumper cover off of it and uh, we're going to go from there. Okay guys, while I'm here I figured I'd show you on a Mercedes right here like this to get this corner of the bumper cover off of the fender all the way back here underneath there's a torque screw hiding uh, up and in there so you gotta turn the wheel all the way pull back the mud guard and get a torx up in there uh, I forget what size and then this brackets in there like so and the screw goes up through here and then in the front, I don't know if you can see it, there's a, there's a peg there 
that slides into a channel on the bumper. So in order to get this bumper corner down, you have to push, push it in. You have to pull in and pop it out. It's a real pain in the dick. that are like this too. Just a complete pain in the dick. There's the there's the bracket as you can see. There's that pin I'm talking about that slides up in there. And this slides between the fender and the bumper cover get sandwiched in here and you put a bolt here to pinch it. Pin that. Really. clips I gotta remove and uh, that bumper is coming off okay guys so I got the bumper cover off it wasn't too difficult it actually wasn't two more clips it was right there and right there are like rubber plastic pieces to help hold the bumper on and you actually had to reach around the bumper support here where's my arm here and go underneath and get them from underneath the the bumper support but uh i got the bumper off i got the hood stripped down here i got the windshield washer slash whatchamacallit thing out and uh i've only been out here for about maybe 20 30 minutes so it's not that difficult um it's pretty straightforward it's the first time i ever did it which means the next time i do it cut my time in half um, and then after that it cools down dramatically Once I know where everything is that's all I need to know so uh, I got this thing ripped off and uh, I think I'm gonna strip the bumper cover down to the bare bumper cover. I'm gonna take the lights out of it I gotta take the uh, Grill out of it license plate stupid shit like that those gay doors Those gay doors I'm gonna strip it all down real quick and uh then I'm gonna go in the house and sand and prime this thing tomorrow. But uh whatnot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, you wanna see number one body shop uh in Williamsport fucking huge ass. You don't get a job in there until someone dies. You wanna see what kind of work they do? Look at this fucking bumper cover. Look at that plastic repair. Oh yeah. Look at that plastic repair. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. And, oh, it's even cracked, man. It's even re-cracked right on the repair. I ain't fixing that. Look at this one. Oh yeah. I do better work than that fucking with my eyes closed sleeping. That's ridiculous. Uh, that's fucking outrageous. But uh, I got the bumper totally stripped down to bare bones. <clears throat> Nothing but the bumper. I got her all stripped apart. Got all the little doors off. Uh, over here I got the little doors. I got the front grill. We're going to be repainting the silver on this. Uh, what not. Oh good. These chrome pieces come off. Oh, you slide them this way and pull them out. So 
we won't even have to mask that hopefully I got all these pieces here all these pieces here there's a lot of shit on that bumper guys there's a lot of shit but I can't believe how that was repaired look at it wow and then that big blop like what the fuck were they even thinking when they were doing this shit I want to know how that is professional by any means and they didn't even grind the fucking plastic they just <laughs> on there looks like fucking dried up spaghetti it's ridiculous but uh I'm done for the night I got the car stripped down got the bumper all ripped apart got the hood all stripped down even got the emblem out got everything ripped apart so tomorrow I'll get paint for this I think we're gonna get some sealer. I'm gonna get some flex additive for this bumper for sure. Uh, get the paint, get some clear. I'm gonna use 661 on this again. I ain't using that 660. And uh, start sanding this bitch. Get her in some primer. Fucking hopefully have her painted by fucking Monday. That'd be nice, huh? But uh, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys on the flip side later. Peace, guys.